Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out how we can catch the Liege of the Lake, which is pretty much the legendary, the ultimate fishing challenge in Final Fantasy 15. So the way to activate this quest is all we have to do is rest at this campsite over here I'm showing you on the map just below the Vesper Pool. So if we rest here, we'll be interrupted by a cutscene of Gladio telling us about the Liege of the Lake and how it's this legendary fish in the Vesper Pool close by. So all we need to do is click on shore and this will activate the side quest or tour, whatever you want to call it. Then when morning rolls around, we need to head off to where it shows us on the map, which is just around the corner from the campsite. It's literally walking distance. So now we're there, all we need to do is actually catch the Liege of the Lake. I would highly recommend being at least level 8 on your fishing skill. If you've got 10, it helps out a lot because I've found it's not always, but sometimes, most of the times, the Liege of the Lake, if you've got level 10 fishing skill is, is going to be the orange dot with the circle around it not always i cannot specify this enough not always okay guys however there are a few other things that are very important and of course i'm talking about the equipment we're going to be using to catch this beast First of all, the line, we want to stack up on quite a few Dragon's Beard, simply because once we use over 300-400 durability, we need to throw that one away and just start with a new one. Because once we do manage to bait the actual Liege of the Lake, we're going to need almost maximum durability to be able to catch it, even if you do it close to perfect. So I would really recommend stacking up on quite a few of these, just to be sure. It's going to be a real bummer if you get down and you don't quite catch it because your line breaks. So you can buy both the line and the lore we're about to talk about in a second from the Fisher Shop, right behind where we're standing here at the Vesper Pool. Obviously, Stack up on enough of them before you start the quest. Simply because once you've got the quest activated, if you back out from fishing, it'll actually cancel the quest. you have to activate it again. And we don't really want to waste that time. So make sure you buy as many of these as you can. I would recommend at least 10 of each probably. Because obviously if your line breaks, you're going to lose your lore as well. Now for lores, there's actually more than one that people have reported it working with. But the one that most people have got good results with and the one I've personally had the best results with is this one right here. The Giant Needle 10,000 Gold Gigantois. You can buy the, again, you can buy these from the shop right behind us. So stack up on a few of these. This is 100% guaranteed that this lore does work. So if you want, you can experiment with other ones, but we know for a fact that this one is definitely going to be able to catch it eventually. Then for rods and reels, the best ones in the game are the Tranquility and the Limlian. Both of these, I actually have a separate video on how you can obtain each one of these, which I'll leave on screen in case you don't have these yet. So if you wanna quickly go check that out and then come back here, because you definitely are going to need a good rod and a good reel. You can actually do it without the tranquility, but the reel especially is pretty much essential at this point if you want to catch this fish. So once we do have this, it's time to actually catch the fish. Aim for the orange circles, like I said. All the orange ones mean are pretty much which ones are more attracted towards the lore you're using. So it's more than likely going to be one of the orange ones. Like I said, if you've got level 10 fishing skill, it should even have a circle around it. Um, as far as knowledge of how to catch it, that's pretty much far as it goes. You don't really need to know anything else. Um, from here on out, you just have to wait for him to bait. As soon as he does, um, do your best to not break that reel. Be very patient with it. Don't get impatient. Because even if you do do this very well, the line will get pretty close to breaking. So the main tip I can give you is be very patient. Especially near the end, it starts to go crazy, like to the left and to the right and to the left again. So be very careful near the end especially. So that is how you catch the Liege of the Lake in Final Fantasy XV. When we do catch it, we actually get some sort of a Bahamut um, lore or something comes with it. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more Final Fantasy 15 content and we'll see you next time. Did it knocked? <laughs> He's a beast. Wait. Something stuck on him. What's this? Some kind of lore? It's a trophy. Something he won from one of his many battles. Hmm. Still in good shape. We can use it. Nice. Got a fish and a way to catch more. The others are going to be stoked.